Hey, welcome back to Bed Squid. I'm super stoked. Uh, we, we've hit 1,000 subscribers and it's thank you to you guys. So a big thank you to my subs, you know, and especially those who have been from uh, day one. Honest to God, you know, um, when I started this channel, it was the inception of the channel was for my students. You know, I had this, I'm not going to say dysfunctional, but I had this very distracted, typical teenage class. And uh, I thought, why not create some personal resources and send some tutorial videos for them, math videos, uh, and see how it goes. And I swear to God, the first time I'd done it and I sent it uh, to, you know, we used it in the class, it was so cheesy, it was so cringy, and I got roasted. So in this example, we're going to look at problem solving using functions. But by the end of that session, students just simmer down and they were on their computers listening to the video and asking me questions. And I told them to engage in the comments and ask each other questions even when they got home. And I swear to God, that video was, was cringy. So we're going to substitute that into the same formula, the same function. 8,000 times 2 to the power of 0 0.5 times 4. It served its purpose. And here I am today, you know, learning myself and putting out edtech tutorials, simplifying education technologies. Uh, you know, using the iPad. I had the opportunity to, you know, integrate uh, the iPads into my department at school. In our department, we've uh, integrated technology in the classroom to benefit student learning. Now, I'm, I just want to showcase some of those examples in this video and talk to the teachers who've used different strategies to either use the iPad or some form of technology to support and push forward student learning. Uh, and teachers started asking, hey, how do I do this? How do I do that? And today, you know, we're in a position where I'm pumping out ed tech videos and I'm, uh, you know, it's my pleasure. And thank you, you guys, for growing this community. Uh, hopefully we continue growing this community. And in uh, the pure fashion of ed tech, uh, simplifying ed tech videos, I am going to today do a tutorial on how to, one of my subscribers asked me, well, how do I share um, Google Slides with students who are using iPads but maybe they're not using the latest iPad or they're using an older one. How do they access it? Um, and how can we do that? So I'm going to pick up from the last video that we done, which was basically oh, trying to figure out what it was. We created an interactive worksheet, okay? From a PDF, we created an interactive worksheet. And so um, I'm going to pick up on that one. I'm going to show you how I would share that with my students and how students would pick it up on their iPads. Even if they had an old iPad here, I've got an iPad mini 2, okay? So it's like uh, six years old how can students uh, access that okay so i'm going to jump into that tutorial thank you so much it's been an amazing journey so far i hope to grow this platform um to benefit you know you guys with the tutorials and myself by learning new skills and techniques uh, and of course growing as a community oh yeah i do want to do a, a q a um in the near future so please if you have any questions uh, please stick them in the comment section below i'm going to be reading through those and picking up some questions so i can do a q a in a future video uh, so anyway uh, without any further ado let's jump into this tutorial how to share google slides with your students who are using maybe an older ipad so i'm going to jump into it here uh, i'm going to go straight to safari the issue is with an older ipad students don't have access to a desktop class browser uh, we're stuck on um 12 point i think here if i go to settings very quickly you can see software updates if i go to general and software updates it's on 12.4.8 this is an ipad mini 2 uh, some ipads are stuck on that software so they don't have access to a you know desktop class browser however i am going to still show you some options here so here's the worksheet that we um using from last from the last tutorial and what i'm going to do is i'm going to jump to my classroom here and i'm going to create an assignment okay so first let me go back again look so i've created this worksheet on safari using the ipad okay so i haven't used a computer or anything just using the ipad i've created this worksheet here um you can refer to i'll put a link to the old video you can refer to how to make this into you know non-editable background so students can't uh, accidentally delete it and so what i'm going to do now is i'm not going to share it from here i'm going to post it in the google classroom okay so here it is i've signed into my google classroom you can sign into google classroom on the web using your ipad so i'm going to create here i'm going to go to it would normally open up to the stream actually it would normally open up to your classes and i'm just going to the class that i want to share this worksheet with okay and then i'm going to go to the classroom and i'm going to create an assignment okay create an assignment here so here, this is all quite usual. You see the same platform on a computer, on a, on a laptop. I'm just going to give a title here. Um, what was this called? This is ordering numbers. Let's just call it ordering numbers, okay? Uh, and then here we can say, please review and complete the worksheet. 
you know, the attached worksheet. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go down to add. I'm going to go to add from my drive, okay? And then from the drive, what we're going to do is we're going to add that worksheet. So here it is. It was this one here. I'm just going to insert that worksheet, okay? And this is very quite important. This is very quite important. This is quite important. This is very important. <laughs> uh, students can view this file. You don't want students to view the file. You want them to be able to edit the file, okay? So, but we don't want everyone editing the same file. So, you're going to go down here and say, make a copy for each student, okay? So, each student can edit the file and then they'll get an old, you know, they'll get a copy that you can go, go ahead and give some feedback or even grade. So that's what I'm going to do there. You can go up here and you can schedule it, um, give it a time and a date. I'm not going to do that right now. I'm just going to go ahead and assign it straight away. So I'm going to assign this and this is going to shoot out to all the students in that class now. Now let me, here's the part that I'm going to come to my um, iPad mini here and I'm going to show you what that looks like on the student's device, okay? So they could access it through Safari as well. The browser is good enough for them to access, you know, their um, work through the browser. Um, through the internet, through Safari. They could also, I suppose, go to the App Store and download a Classroom, okay? They could go ahead and download Classroom. I think for an older iPad, that's probably a good option. Even for students, I think that's probably a good option because it's a, it's a no frills, you know, they can't get confused. The, the sort of um, user inter interface is quite straightforward. But for now, I'm just going to go ahead and go to Safari and show you that from Safari, if I go to Classroom now, if I just refresh this, OK, uh, what I've just sent out should populate in the students stream or their classroom stream. So here it is it's the one that says ordering numbers. I'm going to click on that and it says here, please review and complete the worksheet. Now, I'm going to tell you straight off the bat. What I've done is I've downloaded OK, the slides application. So Google Slides, I've downloaded it. And what that allows us to do then is it's going to open up this. Um, we're going to click on it. It's going to open that up straight into the slides application. Now you could probably do this on the web, it's opening it up, uh, but I find that for students, it's just better for them to edit from the app, okay? So here, look, now this is opened up and they can only edit the, the red text here. So students can go ahead here and it says which of, um, write the amount, sorry, it says write the amount uh, with the largest amount. So we can just go and edit this, okay? And I can go ahead and say it's it's one, 59 okay and then this one would be um i can edit this and the next one would be 153 and so on yeah so 153 and i could go ahead and submit that yeah i could just press on the um what's this the tick okay i'm happy with that i've ticked it off um you know we're good we're good we're good to go with that okay that's done so now if i go ahead and go to my own device and this is also an ipad yeah so i'm not working off a, off a laptop and i go to ordering numbers i can see who i've assigned it to and i go to that student's work so i've clicked on the student and if i go and open it up you'll see that it mirrors exactly what the student's done so it gives me a live feed of what the student's done in fact if i look over here that student is still active on the sheet so if i go ahead and write the last number here Okay, I think the last one was 98p98, the p is already there, and you can see here it's editing, it's updating the student's work. So it is very super simple, it's the same as if you if they were using a, um, a laptop, okay, the iPad does work in class, uh, they can edit. You know, as long as you've uh, made a copy for each student, then go ahead and edit uh, the, the file here and then it will update on your iPad as well. So uh, not a very technical video, but um, I would like again to say thank you so much for growing this community. OK, uh, today we're on a thousand. Well, it wasn't today. It was last week. We we're on a thousand subs. You know, maybe we'll grow this community as much as we possibly can. I'm getting really positive feedback from the comments. I do love engaging with you guys in the comments. So please do comment in the sections. Any questions that you might have, I do want to do that Q&A. So it'll be interesting to see, um, you know, a different uh, a variety of questions that I might be able to answer for you guys. Uh, and as always, you know, um, consider subscribing, turn on notifications. Uh, and I'll see you in the next one.